Carnoustie provides another exciting finish. Hi, and welcome to the Daily Sports Update presented to you by Toyota. I'm Amber Wilson. The site of this year's British Open is very unforgiving, to say the least. John Vanderveld's historic meltdown eight years ago came to mind when Patrick Harrington lost a one-shot lead when he hit his ball into the Barry Burn twice, helping lead to a playoff with Sergio Garcia. Unlike Vanderveld, Harrington had a happy ending, though, when he shot an even par playoff, which was good enough to hold off Garcia's one over. The Irishman takes home the first major title for a European in eight years. Harrington's meltdown on the 72nd hole overshadowed his final day charge, where he came from six strokes back to catch Garcia. The Spaniard shot two over on the final day, while Harrington shot four under to pull into the playoff. Richard Green had the best final day at Carnoustie, shooting seven under to finish in a tie for fourth with Ernie Els. And Ben Curtis and Hunter Mahan both had a six under Sunday to finish in the top 10. Tiger Woods made the cut earlier in the tournament, but the back-to-back -back reigning British Open winner was well out of the picture heading into Sunday. He would finish in a tie for 12th. From the greens to the diamonds, the Yankees look like a totally different team nowadays. Not only did the Bronx Bombers improve to 9-3 since the All-Star break, but they took 3-4 of four from the Tampa Bay Devil Rays, including a 17-5 drubbing Saturday and even more one-sided results on Sunday. The Yankees touched home plate 21 times on Sunday. Alex Rodriguez sent his 498th career home run to deep left center, but the afternoon belonged to Shelly Duncan. The rookie was called up Friday night and only took a few days to belt his first and second career homers. James Shields lost for the sixth time in nine starts for the D-Rays after giving up 10 runs in the fourth inning alone. The Yankees now find themselves seven and a half back of the Red Sox in the AL East and six games behind the Indians for the wild card. Speaking of the Red Sox, John Lester is expected to take the mound tonight for the first time in nearly a year. The 2006 rookie looked to have a bright future ahead of him until he was diagnosed with cancer. After undergoing treatment during the offseason, Lester reported to spring training, was put on the DL, and was later sent to the minors. He will replace Julian Tavares in the rotation. Now on to your news and notes. Barry Bonds is back in the Bay, looking to creep closer to the hallowed 755 after he was held out of Sunday's game in Milwaukee. The Giants open a four-game set tonight against the Braves. Former NBA official Tim Donahue received threatening phone calls this weekend following news that he bet on games he officiated that led the police to show up at his family home. And Team USA capped off a three-day minicamp in Vegas with a blue and white intra-squad scrimmage where Kobe Bryant had an impressive showing in his first appearance for his country with 26 points and the game winner in Blue's 105-103 win over white. Team USA will get back together in August to prepare for the Tournament of the Americas where two Olympic firsts will be on the line. Finally, some sad news out of North Little Rock, where a double-A Tulsa drillers were playing the Arkansas Travelers. Coach Mike Kulbaugh died after being hit in the head by a line drive while standing in the first base box. The former major leaguer played 44 games for the St. Louis Cardinals and the Milwaukee Brewers. He's survived by his expectant wife and two sons. He was just 35 years old.